Antonio here, and this is Antonio with Tech. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Logitech MX Ergo Advanced Wireless Trackball Mouse, an elegant and strangely shaped wireless mouse that promises to help you find your own degree of comfort and designed to help you improve your posture. Now, at a price tag of $99, should you even bother getting it? Now, without further ado, let's jump into today's review. The build. One of the biggest things build-wise would be how the mouse naturally sits. This mouse sits at either 0 degrees or at 20 degrees. Even with the tilt, it remains slightly tilted to the hand. It means that even on a 0 degree position, it does not sit like others in the market. After all, it is an ergonomic mouse. To the touch, it feels super durable, I have no complaints there, and it feels as expected for a $99 mouse. You'll notice if you slightly shake it or move it off the surface, a slight rattling happens. But that's because the trackball is removable and it does move, so don't be worried about that at all. And also the trackball itself controls the movement of your cursor as well to help you with better posture and less strain on your hands and wrists, but I'll cover that in a little bit. Each click you make with the right or left clicks makes some noise to be expected. Just remember it is not a silent mouse and it does not come with silent clicks. Just be aware of that. Now the features. The MX Ergo has two main features that makes it a compelling product. Number one is the trackball. According to Logitech, the trackball creates 20% less muscle fatigue in your hand, wrist, and forearm than in a regular mouse. How true is that and after using it, does my hand, wrist, and forearm feel less fatigue? Short answer is yes. The long answer is since you're not doing the regular movement with your whole arm to move your cursor, it naturally reduces the strain and fatigue. After a full day of working on my computer and then some nights streaming at Twitch.tv The Antonio Reese a few nights a week, I did notice a reduction in hand, wrist, and arm fatigue. Now the other feature would be the tilt ability. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the ability to adjust between 0 degrees to 20 degrees is an amazing feature, but how does that exactly help your posture and does it offer similar relief like the trackball does? Yes. Basically, the tilt feature gives you a full palm support and offers you more control and precision over your movements. How exactly is that? When you tilt the mouse to the 20 degree angle, your hand and wrist will rest sideways, thus reducing strain to your wrist, which in turn reduces the chances of developing carpal tunnel. Even as a zero degree position, it still gives your wrist and hand full support and reduction in strain. It depends more on your comfort, whether you prefer the 0 degree angle or the 20 degree angle. The next feature will be the multi-computer workflow. The ability to switch between computers across operating system is definitely a plus, which I covered in a previous video about the Logitech K860 ergonomic keyboard. If you're interested in that, the video link will be below or somewhere up here for you to click. Now the battery life. It comes with a rechargeable battery that according to Logitech's website lasts for about 4 months on a full charge. Huge asterisk in that. It charges through a micro USB port which... No God! No God, please no! No! Just aside, it can be charged in a minute which will give you about 24 hours of use. There's a few notes in that. There are two versions of this mouse. There is the MX Ergo and the MX Ergo Plus. They're both the same price. The only difference is just the actual base and platform of the mouse. The one that I do have is the MX Ergo, just uh, without the Plus. The next note is that it either works via Bluetooth or provide a USB receiver, similar to how the K860 keyboard works. Just wanted to give you those two notes before we move on into the next section of this video. The pros and cons. The pros. The huge pro will be the trackball. It speaks for itself as a way to reduce strain, and for me, it is a huge plus. Just because I don't have to move my hand all around, I can just use that trackball and just control it with my thumb and just be able to move across the computer without having to do a bunch of strenuous movements across my desk, and it makes it a lot easier for me to precisely click on the things that I do want to click. The next pro would be the ability to tilt. As I said, being able to adjust the mouse in two angles adds something customizable about it. Of course, there is also the compatibility across devices, which is a huge plus, as I already talked about a little bit. Then the next one would be app-specific customizations. The mouse does come with preset keys, but you can also customize each key in every app you use, which is a huge plus, especially if you do a lot of editing and content creation. So if, let's say if you're in Photoshop or Final Cut or Premiere, each of these programs have preset keys that you can click on your mouse and you can also customize it as well. Now some of the cons, the first one would be the price. It is not a cheap mouse. At $99 it comes with a higher price tag than most regular mouses that you will find in the market. Now for similar mouse out there in the market, it might not be that much of a stretch if you're getting maybe let's say like a gaming mouse that is maybe $120 or plus or somewhere on the ballpark. But it definitely can be 
an expensive mic if you're not someone that wants to spend that money or is not able to spend it. So just take that into consideration as well. And literally, I cannot think of other cons for this mouse because I don't want to say, hey, it's an affordable mouse. It's not. It's actually on the expensive side. Now, some final thoughts. For me, this mouse has everything I need as a social media manager, content creator, streamer, and YouTuber offers me enough comfort and customization that I can see myself using this mouse for years to come. All right, that's it for today's video. But before you go, thank you for watching. And I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. I'm gonna actually start posting every single week. So stay tuned for that. If you have any comments or thoughts, let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you all next week in the next video. Bye-bye.